in the quiet village of Sidavakweni, South Africa, a heart-wrenching tragedy occurred. Noah Makula, a 32-year-old Zimbabwean man, carried out a crime that shook the community to its core. It was on the night of November 25, 2020, after a dispute with his partner Nomza Mumtali over allegations of infidelity, Makula was consumed by rage. Unable to sleep, he made a decision that would have irreversible consequences. As his partner and her five children lay sleeping, Makula armed himself with an axe and attacked them. Nomza was aged 42 and the children whose ages ranged from 6 months to 10 years were all killed in their sleep. The brutality of the act was beyond comprehension, with the scene described as a horrific sight of human bodies and destroyed belongings. Makula attempted to take his own life but failed. He then fled, attempting to escape the country back to Zimbabwe, but was apprehended by the police within 24 hours. He was found miles away from the crime scene at his brother's residence in Ginsburg Township, King Williamstown. During the court proceedings, Makula pled guilty to all six counts of murder. The magistrate delivering the sentence did not hold back in describing the killings as a massacre, emphasizing that South Africa is governed by the rule of law and no one has the right to take another human's life. The court contended that the murders were driven by selfishness and a lack of remorse. Noah Makula was sentenced to six life terms, one for each of the lives that he took. The sentence was a statement against such violent crimes and a step toward justice for the victims and their families. The incident left an undeniable mark on the community, highlighting the agent need to address domestic violence and protect the vulnerable.